Larry from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we pull the curtain on the postseason with an AFC wild card matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. What twists and turns will January have in store for us? The NFL playoffs are officially underway. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be brought out by their QB, the former number 10 overall pick in the draft from Texas Tech, Patrick Mahomes. Well documented that he's the son of a former major league pitcher, but Pat has always said that football has fired him up in a way that baseball just didn't. He always wanted to be a football player, still has the big arm that his father had, and he uses it to send the ball downfield in a big way. And some room to roam now. Look at the spin. Balance. And he's brought down after a good game. A really nice gain of 25 yards. First play of the drive, a first down run. Well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go. Do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels? Or do you play chess match with them, break tendency, and go play action and go for the big shot? Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. So that one a hold Still right guard. Down. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And Conley's got it over the middle. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a solid pickup of 11, and it's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. the gun. It's Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And he's brought down. Two big plays in succession and Kansas City's on the move. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. First down, Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Mahomes to throw once more. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So retract. and retract the touchdown and retract the chunk play 
big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. All right, here we go. And again, it's Mahomes. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say. When you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A big pickup, 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. Well, I think everything was impressive about that one, except they didn't get a first down. But I like their field position now after that play. Yeah, now you got a pretty makeable field goal opportunity. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that one. Their guys get the early advantage after the opening drive field goal. And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. cover two because the strong safety is not usually a terrific cover guy but in this case he played it perfectly read the football and went and made the interception hey, hey, hey. Three, they'll try a little trickery here on the end around and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown Tyreek Hill a 16 yard touchdown run and the Chiefs add on to their lead Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. And the Ravens taking the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. It's a loss of two there, bringing out second down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. Second down, Flacco now. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Justin Houston. In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. 
I'd say he'd have moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing him back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. A big pickup, 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a ways to go, though. On is the punter, Cook, who sends it away. And this will be taken at the 13. Whoosh. And now nothing but green ahead of him. City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 87 yards. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And you got a guy that fast back there to receive punts. That's a nightmare for the guy game planning, the special teams coach. But it's also a nightmare for the punter. Sometimes they get so nervous that they miss hit the ball and kick it right to him. Now the point after try for Santos. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, this is their third drive. Right now, maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Flacco from the gun. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Carter, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. From the gun, Flacco. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Anthony Barr in there to make the play. It'll be a loss of 14, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starting in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. here on first down. Flush to his right. Under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Tyus Bowser. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Throw, it's Mahomes. He's got a man. 
and that's caught. Left sideline. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 51 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. Now this offense about ready to take over again. They bring the five seed into the playoffs. Of course, they're one of the wild card teams. And when you're a wild card team, it makes it a little bit tougher. You have to win the extra game. But there's been a precedent set of teams doing that successfully in the past. And it's usually teams that have aspects that really jump out at you and are really factors in the playoffs. I mean, Pittsburgh, they wrote a heavy run game with Jerome Bettis when they won in 2005. And then don't forget the Giants in 2007 that season. Pass rush. Remember how big that was for them during the playoffs. And for Green Bay, it was a quarterback play of Aaron Rodgers. So to me, it's a matter of what's going to affect the game in a big way. Can that aspect of your team really make those plays? A lot of times it's pass rush and quarterback play. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. out of the gun. Flacco. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away and that brings up fourth down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. It'll be just an 18-yard punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. And out come the Chiefs now. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit him over the top. And he'll with it over the middle. And he's brought down. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns. Adding to his receiving total there. Picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness. And he's chipping away at their confidence. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And not much running room. Down to the 32. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. Thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. They'll run again with Hunt. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Now it's Hunt, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. They tried to run right into the teeth of the defense on third down, but um, looked like those teeth were pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> they were having absolutely none of it stuffed him for a loss. Yeah, couldn't get any leverage up front and move people aside in order to run the ball. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. Or it looked like he had it and dropped.
dropped it. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you're focused just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On second down, Johnson. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Holding offense. That one whistled against a big Still right tackle. Down. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty. But it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? On second down, Flacco to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Third and long for Joe Flacco. And he's taken down. A Chiefs sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And it's fielded at the 34. 43 yards on the punt. Return of four. And it's Chiefs football. First and ten. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. He's played a pretty clean first half. A touchdown. No interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well. And he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Two minutes to play here in the first half. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And this is incomplete. Kareem Hunt, his running back, the intended receiver. And it's third and four. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. On target over the middle to Hill. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Flushed out right. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Sack. 
The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. On third and long, it's Mahomes. Trying to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Burris. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, Brandon, there's no question who they're going to look to on third and long, but you can bet this defense knows that as well, so they've got him blanketed downfield. And this ball winds up being intercepted. The Ravens' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Flacco here on second down. And he's got his man on the out route. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. The Ravens on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Passing play. Flacco. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Maybe a little sign of life here offensively, Charles. They get their first first down. They didn't have any in quarter number one. And I think what we're seeing is great evidence of good scouting by both teams, right? Understanding what they like to do, their best plays, try and take those away early. So now we're seeing some adjustments, and they get an update in their first first down. Here's Flacco. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Duke Johnson, the one he was looking for. And it's second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Flacco. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good at training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, when they were completed anyway. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And Bryant's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So a field goal here, they're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's got to feel good, because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second half to get back to where they want to be, and that's in the lead. trigger fingers ready to see who's going to survive this wild card game as we get you back to quarter three so both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three this will be fielded at the six and he nearly broke that for more but as it is they'll start this drive at about the 37 yard line 
Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a new do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Flacco looks to throw. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Chris Jones in there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass run. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Flacco. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. <laughs> so here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Oh, design run for their wide out. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see. Second and nine. This is Hunt, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And there the counter play proves successful for the touchdown. What typically makes a counter play in general successful, Charles? Well, what you're trying to do, Brandon, is to get the team moving in one direction, meaning the defense. Get them going in one direction and then wall them off with your blocking and bring it back in the other direction. That way, you don't actually have to punish them with your blocking. You just position them. And if you have any kind of a good back, they take full advantage of it and gain good yardage. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. To pass, Flacco. And he floats one there incomplete. The veteran Jeremy Macklin was the intended target. And that'll make it third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Setting up to throw Flacco. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. This is taken at about the 14. 
Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now here comes Kansas City. The last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. The road to be fairly that, clear that is by the time we have to leave the booth. So he got three of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now on second down here's Mahomes a hit as he throws there incomplete I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And able to find Conley. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It'll be a pickup of 16 and the Chiefs first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. Weaving through traffic and now he's free. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A great play there with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Chiefs just continue to pour it on. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. This will be fielded at the six. <laughs> And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at <laughs> time, actually. I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Now Flacco. And he will find his man on the outside. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. A first down carry here for Johnson. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. They go to Johnson again. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Calling about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. But well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Ravens on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and seven. Flacco. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll be knocked down sideways at the 38-yard line. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. 
Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Second down, Flacco now. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Anthony Barr in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Flacco from the gun. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And they'll get back three. But this remains a large deficit. 
Bryant now, after hitting the field goal, gets set to kick this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And Charles, in a very one-sided affair, I think we've reached the point in the broadcast for you and we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us, scratch, scratch this thing out a little bit. Get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get. A big-time producer. Keep them here. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he slings one that's incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Set. Green, 39. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, it's Holmes. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Given 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Now a first down carry. It's Camara. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They run it again with Kamara. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down, Camara. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Time running out here on the play clock. A give. This is Camara. Inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Well, I'd say that runs pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do it. And rush coming, and he's taken down. Kamale Correa. Leading the surge there, he drops him for a loss of six. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Now it looks like he'll throw here. That is caught at the seven. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to Let's cut go. to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. 
And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. Partner, they're up big. They snapped the ball from the 15 for a regular PAT. Yet they fake it and get it. Is the kicker's leg tired? Well, what's going on here? I don't know, but defensively, now with this deficit, now you had two more onto that. They fake the PAT. That stings a little. It definitely stings, and I know the guys that I played for, they wouldn't be as mad at the opposition as they would have been at us for allowing that to happen. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling again. No, you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again they ran that one well and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen they sent a message to the defense rush the passer all you want but you better be careful we can hit you going back the other direction throwing here on first down Flacco it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Give him three on the play, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense... Be aware, a ball may come your way. Now it's second and seven. Here we go. Flacco from midfield. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. One last guess for Flacco. He's going to let it fly. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And that will write a finish to this ball game. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just got past the wild card round. How about that? 